Well, lots going on weather-wise, but it sounds like we might be in for some rain coming up soon here. Yeah, keep the first warm weather app, app handy as we go through the holiday weekend with more chances of showers and storms. Some isolated severe potential as we saw today in uh, Hazen with this uh, picture coming in from Samantha. About uh, one and a half inch diameter hail at around uh, 407 this afternoon. Some of those large hailstones fell from a uh, strong to severe thunderstorm. Uh, there wasn't a warning uh, for this cell, but you could see as it raced up to the east of Beulah there over the town of Hazen as we went throughout that 4 to 415 hour and then moved off to the north. Right now we have a, an isolated cell not producing any lightning moving towards White Shield. Not a whole lot of activity around the Minot or Velva area but a couple of showers with some lightning, some thunderstorms east of Rugby and a shower uh, dissipating near the Kenmare area but the bigger focus for some showers and storms into your overnight and the rest of your evening for that matter will be across the North Dakota Montana border along this cold front. There's a big wind shift happening with strong southerly winds for much of the region. Along this warm front is where we've sparked off a few of those showers and storms, but it's along this cold front tonight where we'll see a lot more activity racing up to the north. We have a severe thunderstorm warning for 60 mile per hour wind gusts and half dollar sized hail for Custer and Fallon counties in eastern Montana to the west of Beach, and we'll see these cells move up to the north along Montana Highway 7 towards the I-94 corridor. Severe thunderstorm watch officially for portions of northeast Wyoming into far southwestern Montana and western South Dakota. And again, we'll see these showers and storms, this bigger complex moving up to the north into your evening and overnight with a flood uh, aerial flood watch for por portions of eastern Montana because there's a lot of atmospheric moisture to work with as these explosive thunderstorms continue to move up to the north. That focusing mechanism, that wind shift, will allow for those storms to continue to develop as we go over the next couple of hours. So pay attention here as we go hour by hour into your evening along that North Dakota Montana border by 9 o'clock. I expect more development of those showers and thunderstorms. Again, maybe an embedded severe storm as these uh, this complex moves farther to the north. At 11 o'clock snapshot there and they'll gradually wind down after midnight. But again, along that US 85 corridor is where the main focus will be for any precipitation into your evening and night. Tonight we clear out to start your Sunday. We'll keep with the windy conditions for eastern North Dakota, but less wind farther to the west, uh, to the west of this wind shift but that wind shift will be the focus for some more development of showers and storms later in the day on Sunday. That wind shift continues to push to the east and any of that isolated shower development will dissipate. Monday, we could see a few more widespread showers and storms later in the afternoon. So your Memorial Day Monday for any parades or activities that you have planned for the morning look good. But by the afternoon and evening, keep your eyes to the sky as we could see an isolated strong to severe storm for central and eastern North Dakota with uh, more of those popcorn storms popping up. We look for the dissipation of a few of those showers and storms by the middle portion of the week, only about 20% odds Tuesday through Thursday, but those percentage chances might increase by next weekend, Emmeline. But the big takeaway, the muggy feel as well as the above normal temperatures will last through the entirety of that forecast period into the mid to upper 80s. All right, lots of moisture, but at least we get to keep those warm temperatures. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I think so. <laughs> All right, thanks, Jacob.